goes. Once, once that whistle goes. All right, here we go. It's showtime. Let's do this. I'm looking for some good contacts in the battle right now. Hard pummel coming at it, just like we expected. Duffield pushing the pace after that finals match in Vegas. And Koontz really controlled the tie, going for that left side two on one. Duffield's coming back with his underhooks at the moment in time. Hard pummel here. Legs underneath them. Both guys are, are, are beautiful positioning. One thing. Well, it's a fight to, if not throw the person to their back or take them down in the beginning, but a real fight is to get the, convince the referee to put the other guy down first. We all know that. So you know, there's a lot of gesturing here. So it, it's a yeah. chess match. Yeah. It's to figure out, hey, where, where are my feet at? Where am I going to lay my Who's, where, who the ref's talking to? Because you've got to understand all three elements of the match, you know, and, and, and what's well, going on. an arm drag right there. Wonderful arm drag. It's heavy kids. But Duffield is controlling the center. He is controlling the center. Kutz is getting back to his ties. He's kind of weathering the storm at the moment in time. But the refs are going after Kutz right now because Duffield is controlling the center. Who's just kind of changing the, the, the narrative here with this front so he's headlock. He's got to be careful he doesn't get pushed out of bounds. Yeah. Front headlock here. So do understand, everybody, as you're watching these matches, the out of bounds, the line, the white line around the peripheral, the mat here, that is a scoring zone. Somebody will be scored on if you're pushed out of bounds right there. Coots getting the first call for passivity here. He's going to be going down. Put him down. Now this is where matches can end very quickly. This yeah. is where the match in Vegas, Coons got the first pass in and finished the match yeah. in Vegas. So we can see if Duffield can do the same thing here. And everybody talking about the defense or Duffield. Let's see what we got here for Coons. I don't, not much emphasis there. So he's got a little high gut wrench lock. He's gonna try to pick him up. He likes going high lift. He goes straight lift here. Step up, big step. He likes to go kick finish when he gets him up here. We're gonna see this big step out, big step out. All he's right, gonna take his time. He likes to take Oh his boy, that's straight. four. Oh wow, that's Here we a go. five. That's Gave a five. five. He's going right. straight back up with it again. Going again. Oh. We're gonna get a two on that one. He's still inside. He can still score here. He can still right. score Looks here. like we've got eight zero right now. Take eight zero. Eight zero. Eight zero ten. We're getting a call here. Eight zero ten. Oh, we got a challenge from the red corner. I think, the, I think, Robbie, corner. the challenge may be on the that two. the second lift, whether it's just two. So it would have been two. If it's two, that'd make it seven. Yeah, I think uh, that's what they're. I mean, obviously, why not challenge it at this point? So it should be nine. Wait, one more. We're, we're listening to it. Trying to hear what the referee said. Oh, oh. So they did go two. They went five, two, one. Five, two, one. Five, two, one, it's over. He's not challenging. They didn't know. He thought he would, he thought that was the, the three. It's no challenge. So what happened there? He got a five, he, then he got it, and then with the one for the passivity. Correct, yeah. So the one. Six, so, and then the two point. So, so the one point for the uh, passivity call right there was what made it, which made it to six, and then the two right there, take it to eight. 